Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Look what we are doing today. Look what I have brought you on this glorious Saturday. I know it's been so long since I built anything and um, yeah, baby, we are back today. Um, that was awkward. I'm, I'm sorry for that awkward intro. I'm not redoing it again. You guys have no idea how many times I have tried to record this intro and we, we're just gonna leave it. It's fine. Um, hi, everyone. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're looking after, you know, other people. Things have been not very great in the world lately. I mean, when have things ever been good in the world? Um, anyway, let's not talk about that. I hope you're doing okay, or as okay as you can be doing nowadays. Um, I'm posting a speed build today. Who would have thought I'd ever post a speed build again? It seemed like I would only resort to short creator sim videos. And you know how I always talked about how I'm not really feeling the sims. Well, yeah, I think I'm feeling the sims again, actually. Uh, more on that later, I think first we should focus on the house. So what am I building and who am I building this for? Well, I'm not sure when you are seeing this, but when I'm recording this voiceover, it's been about a week since the life and death expansion pack came out and when I built this house um, I was actually that was last week and I was actually building with the new pack for the first time and naturally since it's all about life and death and the aesthetic is very vampy yeah I, I had to build a new house for my vampires for for very special vampires in fact uh, so, you guys know about my sim, Ross, right? Well, he's kind of more than a sim now. He he made his way into other games that we will not talk about. I mean, we kind of inevitably have to talk about another game. Never mind, we'll get there. Um, yeah, so I have this precious, precious sim of mine. His name is Ross. He, he when he was uh, alive, he loved humans. Not humans, oh my god. Uh, he loved vampires. He was obsessed with vampires. He read vampire books and loved vampire movies and all of that. And, you know, then he fell in love with a vampire as well and spent his whole mortal life convincing the vampire to turn him and eventually the vampire turned him and Ross became a vampire as well. You know how it goes. Um, he also died in the sun. Classic. And uh, then we brought him back because he's my favorite Sam. He cannot just drop that. Come on. And uh, yeah, so I've had the Sim for like six years now. He's not going anywhere. I will always be bringing him up and doing stuff with him. And yeah, so with this new pack, I was like, yep, that's it. He needs a new house. He and his husband, well, he and his husbands, plural right here. I will explain that in a second. Uh, they need a new house. They need a new house in, in Ravenwood, the new town, new world in the new expansion pack. So I looked up some inspiration pictures on Pinterest and I got to building and I spent like maybe four or three hours building this house and I had so much fun. Um, it's been ages since I had this much fun building in The Sims. Even that apartment I did a couple months ago. I didn't really enjoy Well, I, okay, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed this house. I don't think I'm doing a good job at this voiceover, but do I want to delete this and start over when it's so late at night? Oh my god, I sure hope I have a streak freeze on Duolingo because it's two minutes after midnight and I did not do Duolingo. Um, let me just check and I will be back with you once I've done my Italian lesson. Okay, I will be back. 
I did indeed forget to do Duolingo and thankfully I had a streak crease so I did not lose my 500 and something days long streak. Oh my god, I would have been so upset if that happened. I will have to be more careful next time. Uh, where were we? Um, we are building a house for my favorite vampire and his two husbands. One of them is his usual Sims 4 husband, Caleb Vator. You all have seen him, I'm sure. Um, he's the guy with the weird red coat. And when I say weird, I mean, I I like this coat. I think it's iconic and it's, it's only Caleb's and it's always weird to see him. Uh, sorry. It's always weird to see the coat on another sim. Like to me, that's just Caleb's coat and no one else can touch it. Um, anyway, so that's husband number one. The one he's had for years, for literal years, even in real life. Because uh, I've had this sim, as I've said already, I've had him for six years. Why am I rambling so much? Oh, oh my god. In my defense, it's really late and it's been so long since I did a long voiceover, so bear with me. Anyway, his second husband. I'm not sure if husband is the right word, because... I mean, yeah, they do get married eventually. 15 years after the main events of... After the events of the game and the main plot and everything. Um, but yeah, you guys... Have you guys noticed... I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 lately. Have you noticed? Has, has anyone noticed? Do you guys follow me on, on Blue Sky? We are not going to mention the Dead Bird app anymore because I'm not going there anymore. Um, find me on Blue Sky nowadays. Um, yeah, have you guys noticed that I like Baldur's Gate 3 a lot? <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, although if you follow me anywhere else, you probably do know. I made Ross in Baldur's Gate 3 and I romance Astarion with him. And they, they have taken over my brain, you guys. I think about them all the time. I think about their ship all the freaking time. And it's, it's maybe becoming a little bit of an issue. It's kind of getting into other things like I had this big storyline for Ross and Caleb planned out and I was gonna take pictures in the sims and I was going to post it on tumblr I have not worked on this storyline in weeks and instead the only thing on my mind are Ross and his new pale elf vampire boyfriend slash you know in 15 years after the events of the game husband Astarian. And I mean, I'm not complaining, but um, it is really interfering with other creative things I've been wanting to do. Uh, so, so yeah, but like I said, I'm not complaining. I love them a lot. And yeah, I could talk about them all the time. However, I feel like you might start complaining if I keep rambling about them in such a chaotic way that I've been doing in this voiceover. So if you want to know more about them, just head to my Blue Sky. If you don't have a Blue Sky account yet, what are you doing? Especially if you are still on Twitter. What are you doing on Twitter? Get off Twitter now and make a Blue Sky account. Not sponsored or anything. I just really like it there. And I think the community there is really good. I'm mainly interacting with uh, Sims people and PG3 people. And I see a lot of Dragon Age on my timeline, or Skyline, or whatever you call it. Uh, a lot of Dragon Age as well, a lot of gamers, a lot of artists, and everyone is so nice. I think maybe the environment has something to do with that as well. Like, Twitter was just toxic, and Twitter was rewarding toxic behavior. And I feel like even if you tried your best to not be like that. The the environment Twitter was just so negative that it brought you down too and you you were more likely to also post negative things on Twitter. I don't know, am I making sense? That's kind of how I feel. That's how I feel about myself. Uh, even because now for a few weeks I was posting on both Twitter and Blue Sky and 
every time I opened Twitter and wanted to tweet something, I just felt inside like more of an urge to be negative or honestly kind of toxic or being a little petty and making slightly vague tweets about some community drama. And when I go post on Blue Sky, I I feel none of this. So I really think the environment of the social media you're on, I feel like that also might affect what you want to post and how you want to talk. I don't know. That's how it feels to me. And uh, yeah, how if if you have migrated from Twitter to Blue Sky, how do you feel about the community? How how do you like Blue Sky? Or did you try Blue Sky and went back to Twitter? Tell me all about it, because uh, I've been I, I don't know. I've been really invested in this downfall, hopefully downfall of Twitter. I've been watching this and. I really want to see Twitter burn. I'm really interested in seeing it happen. So if you want to make me happy, go make a Blue Sky account, deactivate your Twitter account or set it on private and log out and stop going there and make some popcorn and come watch the downfall of Twitter with me. Join me. I'm saving you a spot at my table. Now I am winking at my laptop like I'm a seductive someone. I'm trying to seduce you. Be seduced. And um, anyway, didn't we say I would talk about the house? So in this house, there is a basement, there is a ground floor, and there is a first floor. The basement is where Caleb Vator lives. Um, yeah, he's been demoted to basement husband, which sounds really bad. And honestly, it was kind of funny at first, but now that I think about it, I feel a little bad because Caleb deserves better than the basement. But I think the basement turned out fun fun? Why did I say fun? I think the basement turned out great. I love what it looks like. I like the vibe of it. Um, it's it's like, you know, well, it's like if you let a vampire live in a basement. That's the vibe. And that's what it's supposed to be. There's a vampire living in a basement. Of course it looks like a vampire is living in a basement. Anyway, moving on basement is Caleb's. Then there is the ground floor with a big kitchen and a dining table and there's a living room with, you know, TV and a fireplace and some bookshelves and there's a piano. I don't know who in this household can play a piano, but it seemed like a good idea to put it there. Then we have the stairs to the first floor and there we have a big bathroom which looks cool. I feel like the style of it doesn't really match the rest of the build, but I don't care. <laughs> I honestly don't care. I think it turned out great and I can... I, I pretend I do not see how it doesn't match the rest of the build. I just do not see it. I think it's a great bathroom and who cares if the aesthetic is different. Um, then there are also two bedrooms on this floor. One is big and red and obviously for Ross and his second husband, his husband from another game. We have already talked about who it, who it is and uh, I'm afraid if I said his name it would set me on another ramble and I would ramble for half an hour and nobody would, nobody would know what I'm trying to talk about and it would all just... none of us would be happy in the end. Did I mention I love Astarion? He's my favorite character right now. Yeah, so that's where we will leave it. And then there's one more bedroom. It's a kid's bedroom and honestly this one is subject to change because I have yet to figure out what baby what child will live there. I'm not sure if I want to move Sunny in there, you know, Sunny, Ross's daughter, Sunset, or if I want, um, I don't know, maybe the guys will have a science baby, or, you know, one thing that has happened a lot of times 
in my Sims 4 saves. I don't know what it is, but aliens just like to snatch my vampire sims and maybe I help it. Maybe I make them abduct my vampire sims and then and, and they return them back to Earth and my vampires return with a... with little gifts in their tummies. Caleb Potter could talk. He even threw it twice. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe the baby will be a fucking alien. I don't know. Maybe. I'm just gonna have fun with this one. Um, It's really just a silly little save for funsies. Maybe I won't play it at all and maybe I will only use this save to take pictures of them. I don't know. Honestly, when it comes to gameplay, I've been really enjoying my Rose Legacy lately. As you know, I've made those sims over. They were originally my Sims 3 sims and I've remade them. I brought the legacy over to the Sims 4 and I'm continuing the legacy with Addison in the Sims 4 and I have had so much fun. I At first I didn't want to do them at all. I, I was kind of... I didn't really care about the Reapers rewards event or whatever it was called. Reapers something. Uh, but then I changed my mind and I did the Reapers rewards event with Addison and I got really into her and into the legacy again and into playing the legacy and you know since the event kind of set the tone for some stuff this sim could do and there was already like a little bit of background stuff lore stuff with Eddie that I kind of planned uh, and it suited the life and death, life and death expansion pack. It kind of fits in with it nicely. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Let's move Addy from Ciudad and Amurada and move her to Ravenwood and have her join the Reaper career and do all the life and death expansion pack stuff and you guys, I have not had this much fun in The Sims 4 in months. I enjoy this save a lot. So uh, back to what I was talking about earlier. Yes, I have this save with my three vampires, with Rose and his two vampire husbands. Uh, but maybe I won't play it too much at all. Maybe I will just take pictures of them in their pretty house. Um, outside of their pretty house, in the streets of Ravenwood, in the streets of whatever other world I will send them to. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, maybe it will be just a picture save. And when it comes to gameplay, I will stick to just Addy and her girlfriend. And sooner or later, they, they there will be a Grim Reaper baby. Um... The ladies have a very open relationship and in fact Isidora cheered when she heard that Addy successfully kissed the Grim Reaper. Yeah, it's a really fun save. I cannot wait to start posting it online. Um, usually I post my legacies on Tumblr. I will see, especially if Blue Sky gets like a good schedule feature. I know there's a way to do it now with some like other website. I don't know. I didn't really look too much into it. It's too much work. But once uh, or if Blue Sky will get a better schedule and feature, maybe I could post my legacy there as well. But I don't know, because Blue Sky just like Twitter has a character limit and sometimes I yap a lot in my in my legacy posts. So maybe I will just stick to stick to Twitter. Not Twitter. Twitter is that maybe for my legacy posting, I will just stick to Tumblr and you are most welcome to give me a follow there. I've been neglecting my Tumblr, but I will be back there and you guys maybe should be ready for when I am ready to be back there. Anyway, this has been a mess, hasn't it? And I feel like it would be for the best to go and um, just leave more rambling for other videos. How does that sound? I mean, I really wanted to brag about something. Because, again, I don't know when you are seeing this, but when I'm recording this, two weeks ago I was in London. I went to a con in London and 
of course I want to tell you about that. I've talked about it plenty on other social media, but I wanted to talk about it in the in a video as well and just actually scream a little bit because that weekend was a fever dream. A dream come true, <laughs> kind of. It was insane in the best way and I cannot believe that actually happened and I have proof that it happened, but what the hell? And I'm already I, I'm already itching to go somewhere again. Anyway, so I will leave that for some other time. There will be other videos. I have one more belt recorded, believe it or not. I have one more speed belt in store. And then obviously there will be cast videos, although in those I tend to and I'm kind of proud of myself because it wasn't always the case. Uh, in the cast videos, I tend to stick to talking about the same and all, and there's not much space to ramble as much. So we will probably talk about London next time with with the with the next speed belt whenever I may post it. And uh, yeah, if you've been listening to me still, whoa, uh, you deserve an award. Seriously, you do. I'm sorry this has been all over the place, but also kind of, you know, it's late and you guys know me and why am I apologizing? Because if you haven't turned the video off already, you're probably okay with me going all over the place, aren't you? Anyway, I'm actually gonna go now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my rambling. Um, Come back for more because there will be more. <laughs> That's not my outro. My outro is in fact the fact that I don't remember my outro. Anyway, actually, I mean it this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked the build. It will be on the gallery sooner or later. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I wonder if that's all. Did I want to say something else? I'm not sure. Well, love you guys. <laughs> Bye everyone. See you all soon. Bye.